Hi folks, I'm Thomas Henson with thomashenson.com. Welcome back to another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. Today we're going to talk about some learning challenges for the data engineer. And so we're actually going to title this our Roadmap Learning for Data Engineers. So find out more right after this. So today's question comes in from YouTube. And so if you want to ask a question, post it here in the comments, have these questions answered. So most of these questions that I'm answering are questions that I've got from the field that I've you know, met with customers and talked about or I get over and over and over. And then a lot of the questions that I'm answering are coming in from YouTube, from Twitter. Um, you can go to Big Data Big Questions on my website, thomashenson.com, Big Data Big Questions. Submit your questions there. Any way that you want to use it, use the hashtag Big Data Big Questions on Twitter and I will pull those out and answer those questions. So today's question comes in from YouTube. It's uh, from Chris and Chris says, Hi Thomas, I hold a master's degree in computer information systems. My question is, is there any roadmap to learn on this course called Data Engineer? I have intermediate knowledge of Python and SQL, so if there's anything else I need to learn, please reply. Well, thanks for your question, Chris. It's a very common question. It's something that we're always wanting, wanting to understand is, you know, how can I learn more? How can I move up in, in my field? How can I become a specialist, right? So, you know, a data engineer is in IT. It's a sought out demand. It's a sought out field with high demand. But there's not really a roadmap for these, right? So you can you know, see what some people are learning, you know, what other people are saying is the specification. So you're asking what I see and what I think are the skills that you need you know, based off your Python and your SQL background. Well, I'm gonna break it down into four different categories. I think there's four important things that you need to learn and there's different ways to learn them and I'll talk a little bit about that and give you some resources for that. And all the resources for this can, will be posted on my blog. So I'll, I'll have it on thomashenson.com look up uh, roadmap learning for data engineer and under that video you will see all these links uh, for the resources. So the first thing, so four tenets, first thing is you need to be able to move data in and out and so most most likely you're going to want to move, know how to move it into HDFS. So you want to know how to move that data in, how to move it out, how to use the tools. You can use Fleet, Flume, uh, just you know using some of the HDFS commands. You also want to know how to do that maybe from an object perspective. So if in your workflow or if you're, you're looking to be able to move data from an object-based and still use that in Hadoop or the Hadoop ecosystem, then you would want to know that. And then also I'd mix in a little bit of Kafka there too. So, you know, understanding Kafka. So important point there is being able to move data in and out. So ingest data into your uh, system. The next one is be able to perform ETL. So, you know, being, being able to transform that data, you know, that's already in place or as it's coming into, into your system, some of the tools there, uh, if you watch any part of my videos, you know that, you know, I got my start in pig. So, you know, being able to use pig, or use you know MapReduce jobs, or maybe even some Python jobs to be able to do it, or Spark, just to be able to transform that data. So we want to be able to take some kind of maybe structured data or semi-structured data and transform it, being able to move that into a MapReduce job, a Spark job, or you know transforming it maybe with Pig and pull some information out. So being able to do ETL on the data, which rolls into the next point, which is being able to analyze the data. And so being able to analyze the data, whether you have you have that data, you're transforming it, you're maybe you're moving it into a data warehouse in, in the Hadoop ecosystem. So maybe you move it into Hive, you know, or maybe you're just transforming some of that data and capturing it and pulling it into HBase. And then you want to be able to analyze that data maybe with uh, Mahout or M MLlib. And so there's a lot of different tutorials out there that you can do. And it's just kind of getting your feet wet, understanding, okay, you know, we've got the data, we, we were able to move the data in, perform some kind of ETL on it. And now we want to analyze that data, which brings us to our last point, last thing that you want to be able to do and be familiar with is be able to visualize the data. And so with visualizing the data, you have some options there. So, you know, you can use Zeppelin or some of, some of the other notebooks that are out there, or even some custom built, you know, if you're, if you're familiar with front end development, you can kind of focus in on some of the tools out there for making some really cool charts and really cool different ways to be able to visualize the data that's coming in. So the four big tenets there, remember, are moving your data. So being able to load data in and out of HDFS, object-based storage, and then also I, I, I mix a little Kafka in there performing some kind of ETL on the data, being able to analyze the data, and then being able to visualize the data. I would, I've, you know, in my career, I've heavy, you know, I've put more emphasis around the moving data and the ETL portion, but, you know, for, you know, whatever you're trying to do or your skill base may be different. Maybe you're going to focus more on the analyzing of the data and the visualization of the data. So, but those are the four key tenets that I would look at for a roadmap to becoming a better data engineer or even just getting into data engineering. 
All that being said, I will say I did four tenants, kind of draw a box around those four tenants and say, as we're doing those, make sure we're understanding how to secure that data for bonus points. So, you know, as you're doing it, make sure you're using security best practices and learning some of those pieces, because once we start implementing and put these into the enterprise, we want to make sure that we're securing that data, right? So that's all today for the big data, big questions. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. All this awesome greatness. If you have any questions, make sure you use the hashtag big data, big questions on Twitter. Put it in the comment section here on the YouTube video or go to my blog and see big data, big questions and I will answer your questions here. Thanks again, folks.